release of the FRA 2020 resources. We'll use them to help us understand how forests designated for biodiversity conservation relate to countries' forest resources more broadly. We'll also be interested in the information on severe climatic events, pests and diseases, fire, and other ecological disturbances that can degrade forests and limit their ability to provide ecosystem services. We encourage everyone to use the FRA 2020 resources. We will certainly be using them to inform our efforts to halt and reverse degradation of ecosystems worldwide. At the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change Secretariat, we are looking forward to seeing the data reported by countries to FRA 2020. In particular, we are excited to see the time series data on forest carbon stocks and related variables, such as forest area and growing stock, which are very relevant to the MRV process of the UNFCCC and the Paris Agreement. We welcome the FRA 2020 finding that globally 18% of the world's forest area is located in legally established protected areas. This demonstrates that for forest ecosystems as a whole, Aichi Biodiversity Target 11 has been met. We're now looking forward to seeing what is happening in each country as forests are key for biodiversity, globally, nationally and locally. FRA 2020 is a very timely report, provides critical information as the world develops the post-2020 Global Biodiversity Framework. Music